Hello, I uh, just wanted to go over the highlights of the garden from this year, the vegetable garden. Um, it's been a very cool and uh, wet summer here in Ontario. We haven't had the dry heat or the drought or the, the high temperatures yet either. And today is especially cool, it's probably about 12 degrees Celsius and uh, windy and we've had rain this morning. But I'll just go over some of the highlights. Um, it's the first time I've ever grown this many sweet potatoes. Uh, usually I just grow the grocery store sweet potatoes and try to get some slips to grow from those. But this year I ordered some uh, slips from a catalog. These are Covington. Uh, they came fairly late, probably late June. I put them in, they looked fairly dead, but they've all taken off really well. And uh, I haven't dug anything yet, but the, the plants are doing really well. They'd probably benefit with some more heat, but uh, it's probably not going to happen this summer. New pepper varieties for me. Um, the pepper varieties, mo all the peppers didn't grow very well this year. Probably again a lack of heat. But uh, Orange Blaze uh, is this one here. It's just starting to turn orange now. It's pretty much ready. Uh, Gypsy Hybrid there are going to turn a little bit more orangies and uh, reds yet to come. And um, the last one I got was Serrano de Sol. And uh, it's just starting to, the one pepper starting to turn a little bit red. So I haven't actually tried eating any of these yet, but uh, they've all grown very well. So at least I can report on that. This uh, winter squash is um, Sweet Mama. And it was really lush and thick and growing like crazy two to three weeks ago. And then it just started dying. I'm not sure if it had a, a um, mildew problem or... Um, a fungus problem or what happened to it but uh, all the leaves have pretty much died now although uh, I did get quite a few gourds off it already um, sweet mama and uh, I haven't tried them yet I'll let them uh, dry and cure a little bit more and be saving those for the the winter time but lots lots of gourds grew it just um, probably could have got more if the plant would have lived a bit longer um, another new variety for me was Golden Dawn Zucchini. It's been very prolific. Uh, good tasting zucchinis and it seems to be resistant to the powdery mildew. Um, it's a very big plant compared to the little green zucchini next to it which is just starting to catch up but it really hasn't produced in comparison to the yellow zucchini, the Golden Dawn. Um, this is a new cucumber variety for me as well, Summer Dance. It's the uh, one of the long English style cucumbers. Just got it growing over an old uh, box spring frame that I bent over. Um, it worked fairly well. So I've got nice long straight cucumbers and they are uh, very, very good tasting cucumbers as well. So I'm pretty happy with that variety and I'll probably make a better trellis for that uh, next year. Um, over here we've got some cantaloupes. This was Halonia, Halona. And uh, it grew very well for me this year. I just took off a big one last night. It was three and a half kilos, I think. Um, and it was delicious. So there's a couple more growing here. Um, you can see there's lots in there. They're, they're good sized melons. Uh, considering the lack of heat we've had this year, they're, they're doing great. So I recommend that variety for cooler, shorter summers. Uh, it's grown very well for me. On the watermelon front, um, it's third year in a row I've tried this early Canada improved and the, the vines are just tiny, they're not growing. Maybe they were shaded out by the elderberry a little bit behind it there. It, the elderberry is to the north of it so it shouldn't block too much sun. And then this garden I tried um, crimson sweet watermelon and it's just taken over this little bed and it's got some really nice melons coming on. So I can't comment on taste yet, but they're not quite ready. But they're a good size, there's lots of melons, and uh, as long as the taste is there, I think, I think I've got a winner for my garden here. So uh, quite happy with those. The tomatoes, I uh, went back to my favorite here, Sun Gold. The kids just love it, and uh, you can see there's, there's not really any that are ripe on that vine. They eat them as fast as they ripen, so these dull orange ones still need a couple days yet. They'll get a neon orange color yet before they're ready but uh, the vine can't keep up with the kids they just eat them as they come on this one here is Juliet it's my first year trying it um, I was hoping for a better taste it's very prolific 
easy to grill and uh, not much disease but uh, taste is taste was so-so a big beef hybrid here we just finished harvesting a whole bunch of uh, tomatoes off of it so there's, there's not much left on it right now but it was good again it always is sun peach over here not too tasty this year either but that could be a function of uh, not enough heat this year and uh, they have been good for me in the past they are kind of a pinkish red color and uh, I like them quite a lot next one I have is Bonnie Best it's an heirloom variety and again we just finished picking that so there's nothing really too ripe on it and a bunch of the tomatoes did have some uh, end rot on them um, anything that was touching the ground of course is rotten as well so 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 uh, this is Sun Gold the predecessor of Sun Sugar I believe uh, it's just starting to come on now with a couple ripe tomatoes. I haven't actually tried it yet. It's my first year growing it. But uh, the plant suffered early on and um, it's still quite small really and never has caught up to, to the other ones. So I'm going to give that one another chance next year. I think it was just a, a bad plant um, off to a bad start. Hawaiian pineapples. These always grow into giant tomatoes. Uh, but they often get a, a lot of splitting in them too. And especially with the rains this year, they've, they've had some splitting. Um, and the, they're a neat color, and I grow them every year. Taste is probably only so-so. Another Juliet here. Again, uh, very productive tomatoes. We eat lots of them, and the taste is so-so. This was another Sun Gold that I tried a, a graft on. I, I bought some special uh, seeds that were um, extra vigorous root stock, and uh, I grafted a Sun sugar onto them in um, in April. Um, it's my first time doing it. The graft took just fine, um, but the plant was a little slow. Probably my fault again, but um, it's coming on now and um, it does seem to have extra disease resistance, although I haven't seen the, uh, the extra vigor I hoped for, but uh, of course it's my first year, so we'll try that again in the future. Um, to make, potatoes did fairly well this year. It's my um, I've I've harvested all the ones at the south end here, Nor Norland, and I had Russ at the Burbanks here that are pretty much done this section here, and then this was a later crop that I planted of um, more Lor Norlands. First time I've ever had a Colorado potato beetle infestation this year. The last six years I haven't, so a bit disappointed with those guys showing up, but they're they're here now, and I've been picking them off. It's fairly small infestation. Little okra there, uh, Clemson, I believe. I do like growing okra. It has a really nice flower, but um, we we just don't eat it. Uh, Jacob's cattle beans there. They're a dry bean, a shell bean. Um, they're just about done now, so we'll let those dry in the in the sun, and uh, they're fairly nice. The blueberries did well this year. I, I built this cage around it with some bird netting to keep the birds out of it and uh, the plants have done quite well we've been eating at these for almost a month now um, but there's lots of berries in there a couple coming on every day but a really good raspberry crop this year just just excellent through mid-july through about a week ago into early august uh, i've just finished thinning it out now so all the uh, the spent canes i've i've cut out and it's just the the new canes left in there at the north end here i had um my, uh, my yellow raspberries, uh, fall, fall golds, they had an excellent, excellent crop this year and they'll, they'll produce another crop this fall as well. So very, uh, very happy with those. So I think that's the, uh, the highlights of the garden for this year. Um, it's been a fairly good year. Some things have done really well with the, uh, the extra water, extra rain and cooler temperatures. And uh, some things have struggled. Bye for now.